This video is on the installation of the Skyline 3 Quick Connect unit. This unit comes mostly pre-assembled. A pipe wrench and crescent wrenches are all that are needed to complete the install. The first thing you're going to need to do is remove the bottom drain from your existing water heater. You'll need a good sized pipe wrench to do this as it can be sometimes quite tight in there. So get a good grip and turn until it's removed. The next step is to make sure that all of your threaded fittings are uh, covered with at least six turns of Teflon tape. You want to make sure there, those, the tape is on there very tight and that uh, you give a good seal at the very end to make sure that it doesn't come off as you're trying to turn it in. Do this to all of the uh, threaded fittings, the hose bibs and everything else that you have. Now you're going to tighten up this uh, threaded fitting until uh, it's very, very tight but you don't want to put an excess of strain on that fitting because it is a glass line tank. The next thing to do is put in the copper, uh, onto the copper tube, you're going to be putting this gray tube and bring it all the way in until it meets the black line that we provide for you to know when to stop putting it in. As you twist it, make sure that it's tipped up as it goes in so when the hot water returning from the clutches goes in, it tends to uh, aim up a little bit. The cold water is going to be being pulled uh, from the bottom of your tank through the through the outer fitting. So you're going to put Teflon tape around the surface of this union just to make sure that it seals up tight. But make sure that no Teflon tape is on the inside edge as you want that path to be nice and clear for the water that's going to be pulled out and being uh, circulated up through the collectors and returning. Now tighten up the compression nut. Again, good and tight. It's good to use a, a counter uh, pipe wrench to make sure that there's no excess strain as you do this procedure. Make sure that everything is lined up nice and straight so that the lines go up. Next thing you're going to do is put in the hose bibs. You're putting right now, we're putting in the bottom uh, hose bib, which is actually now going to be the tank drain. I'm going to tighten that up. And the next thing you're going to be doing is putting in the two hose bibs for the solar loop. The one that's going in right now is the hose bib for the uh, line on the pump side, which goes up to the collectors. So you're going to tighten that up. The caps should be put uh, on there to make sure that people know that that is not a line to uh, drain water out of. Now we're putting on the hose bib that's, that's for the uh, return line, the hot return from the collectors. This is a hose bib that you're going to use to drain, uh, drain all the water uh, out of, or all the air out of the collectors as the uh, system is uh, purged of air. You're going to close the hose bib on the pump side and then open the uh, boiler drain, a hose bib, on the other side to uh, let all the air uh, flow out. You probably only need to do that for about a minute to make sure that all air is purged. Now we're tightening up the connection that's going to be for the uh, 3 8 inch uh, copper line that's going to be coming, uh, going up to the collectors. Put that in as a compression fitting on the top that you'll be putting your uh, line to. Next we'll be putting on the compression fitting for the return from the collectors, the hot return from the collectors. Go ahead and use a uh, the small crescent wrench in, in the center and then you're going to be tightening up. You're going to use that to hold it steady and then you can be tightening up the large nut until everything is good and tight. Make sure you don't over tighten these. You'll, you have a chance later on to tighten them up when you're testing for leaks. And you'll just want to put the uh, maybe an extra turn, quarter turn on after you see the leak stop. Now we're putting on the pump driver. Now you've uh, gotten to the stage where you're simply going to be connecting up the lines. We're, right now we're putting on the line uh, that's going to be going to the collectors. It's a uh, half inch uh, copper line. Usually it's a uh, soft copper. And the last thing you're going to be doing then is putting on the uh, return line from the collectors. And once you have that all tightened up, you're ready to uh, charge up your collectors and uh, take a look for leaks. Thank you for watching our Quick Connect installation video.